All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is literally 32 degrees here this morning in Portland, Oregon. We are on a little coffee run and of course my psycho ass is going to get an iced coffee, of course, but today's Vlogmas episode is going to be number 13. Honestly, insane that we're doing this. It, it's nuts. So today's video is going to be the concept of why these shoes the Rick Owen Ramones are literally the best sneaker, in my opinion, on the market right now for, in terms of just durability, style, and just preference. So, anyways, let's get right into this. So first things first, I'm gonna give some background on how I actually acquired this sneaker. The way I actually copped this shoe was I was at work one day and there's this store down the street from where I work called Macus. And one of my coworkers went in and copped the shoes. And I was like, oh shit, they have them in the size because if you know what I'm talking about, referencing Rick Owens and Dark Shadow stuff is called the license plate on the back, which would be non-existent on these because we got the ones with no license plate which is what we want and what we prefer because it just looks more mainline-esque but i think i cop these for like 800 or something i forget honestly the entire price of what they cost but first things first is they are not the easiest sneaker to acquire and especially getting them in your size All right guys, secured the bag. Never coffee goes off if you've not been to Portland. Cop this place, it's honestly insane. I don't live too far from it, so it's kind of a personal favorite, but you know what? We're out here vibing in the cold with iced coffee. So, back to these sneakers real quick. A couple things that justify a great sneaker in my book is something that I can pair with like literally a bunch of different outfits. So something I experimented with this summer. It's so cold, guys. Forgive my messiness. But something I experimented with a little bit this summer was matching shorts with these sneakers, which actually look pretty fucking fire, in my opinion. You gotta be picky about what kind of shorts you're gonna be like wearing with them, but ones that go like just slightly over the knee are something that I prefer just cause like slightly over the knee short that's like a little bit like skinnier and tapered down towards the bottom is just money with these but my favorite way to wear these is honestly what i'm wearing right now with it which would be the pants which are like some baggy wide legs trousers so check out the visual one more time Other thing to note about these Rick Owens Ramones is they're constructed in Italy and quite frankly, nothing gets better than Italian leather and also just the quality of Italian construction when it comes to shoes. As in like yesterday's video with the Saint Laurent loafers that I compared to the J.H. Basco ones. This is so loud. Forgive that truck. But anyways, like I said, Italian leather is really where it's at when it comes to construction of a sneaker. All right guys, it is so cold outside that it actually like stung my face like my fa my face hurts from that coldness all right so i've had these shoes for about two months now and honestly i've worn the living shit out of them so as you can see the inside has a zipper Obviously there's laces. I never laced these because of this zipper on the side. It's the easiest maneuver to get your foot into and for a high top, like getting on and off, like it, it literally cannot get easier than the zipper. So with these shoes also that I really appreciate is on this back part of the heel is this part right here. It's incredibly structured. Something like a Converse, which a lot of people like to compare to like a black and white Czech 70, which I think is absolutely psychotic. 
I totally get it with like the big white toe cap and then like just it being a black high top. Black, white, and just high top sneaker. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is not remotely close to a Converse. We have an exaggerated toe cap that is like just fat. And kind of just what I appreciate about this is it kind of gives it the ability to differentiate itself from like the rest of shoes. Cause when you compare this shoe next to a Converse, like it's, it's night and day difference. And not just like the visibility aspect when it comes to silhouette and like just how aesthetically. My apologies guys, my camera cut out. But as I was saying before, this sneaker is literally my favorite in existence right now. So let's, let's just run a little thumbnail real quick. David, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, this coffee is going to get me wired up and honestly, like they use some sort of weird milk in it this time that I really like, but it's not almond milk and I don't, I think it might be oat milk, but his coffee is like off the hook. It's delish. So also one other thing I really appreciate about these sneakers is the sale signature Rick Owens lacing. This exact kind of lacing comes in the Rick Owens like cargo creech pants, comes in pretty much any Rick Owens short, like all, all of Rick Owens pants, if you're familiar with the brand, just comes with exaggerated drawstrings. It's why a lot of brands such as Fear of God by Jerry Lorenzo kind of got their inspo is from capsule archive pieces from the one and only Rickies. My boy Ivan would say Rickies with the blickies. You know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, I do need to make it a clear point that this is not a Mayline Rick Owens sneaker. This is the Dark Shadow version, but as I touched on prior in this video, there is no. So what I want to explain a little bit more actually into is what the license plate is. So license plate is actually not on this one, which I'm so grateful for because it just kind of screams. This is going to sound so cringe, but like it screams like Dark Shadow. So as the Mayline sneakers are, they don't have license plate. A license plate in theory would be like a bulky little like rectangular thing that literally extends off the back of it that says like dark shadow without any um vowels in it so it's just like d-r-k-s-h you know the rest <laughs> right man that was money she literally talks to me guys but Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. This wasn't meant to be a sneaker review, but it's meant to just show you what in my rotation right now that I am really just rocking with more than anything. And if you're considering getting these shoes at all, I highly recommend they wear even better the more you wear them. Like the inside sole is just like, they're comfy, they're easy. They, they just look good. They elevate any outfit, like literally any outfit at all. And they're just, they're just money, so. It's gonna be wraps on today's video. Thank you for tuning back into Vlogmas Day 13. 13, whatever way it's gonna go. But, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and I am gonna get on with the rest of my day. I love you all. Toodles.